So for Erdnay's go round, I'm first going to explain the version 2 because it's in my opinion the more easier one and also the safer, safer one to do in public. So start with the second one. And for this one you'll have to go into the Erdnay's grip. And this is happening by transferring your normal uh, mechanics grip into the earnest grip and you're going to start by taking the deck into your hand like this and your thumb is gonna come over and place itself like so it just applies pressure on top of the deck and your pinky finger is going to do come to the other side and do just the opposite it goes around the side of the packet and just applies pressure over there while your thumb applies pressure over there so your thumb claws from this side and your pinky from this side and this results in a fairly stable grip once you practice this one the grip itself takes quite some time to get used to because it's really unusual to hold a deck of cards like this and your this especially this part of your pinky finger will hurt in the beginning but don't worry, after maybe a week you should be used to holding a deck like this. And you really need to apply quite some pressure to the deck. And I also did a tutorial on the Revolution Erdnays, so I explained it there. I also explained it there, maybe a bit different, so if that helps, watch this video. Now for the Erdnays around itself, after you're in this grip, you split off a rather small packet or not more than half of the deck I'd advise for a fourth or less in the beginning and you just apply pressure with your index and pull down the cards should be fairly easy once you get the grip done because you just hold the deck and pull the cards down because those three fingers are free and now your middle finger and ring finger curl underneath the deck or the, the smaller packet like so so it should result in this grip and now your index finger and middle finger apply a bit of pressure and pinch the packet a bit so you can move it out like this slightly angle jog it so it doesn't touch this part of your hand anymore. And also you should move it a bit out and I'm going to explain the throw without this part because for the throw you're going to get some momentum with your hand by moving your hand like so and while you do this motion, those fingers also do or they extend rather so the whole packet can revolve around your index finger. Your index finger is really the pivot point and your whole hand rotates the small packet around your index finger so it should look like this. Those two fingers together with the hand movement and the throw should rotate the pack around your index finger fairly easily once you practice it so it's really just the movement and those two fingers extending this should be enough to rotate the packet around your index finger once you get that done with the deck Pull this down, curl those fingers in, angle jog it and now you do the same thing because those two fingers only hold the deck and these are the same and you just do this motion and catch the packet on top. Like so. You grab it, break down the packet extend it or angle jog it and with your hand movement 
and those two fingers to rotate the packet around your index finger. And while it's in the air, you should have enough time for your left hand to move back and catch the packet on top. For the catch, it's really just your thumb tries to catch it and also you can help with these fingers to catch the packet so you don't drop it. Again, Erdnay's grip, break down a packet, curl those fingers in, angle jog it, move your hand to the left so the packet can spin around your index finger. And for the catch, most of the time you should be able to catch it like this, but sometimes you catch like this, so you just can square it up pretty easily, it's not that big of a deal, but most of the time you're gonna catch it like this anyway. So that will be version 2 and for version 1 I find it personally a bit risky to do in public because the flip won't always happen the way I want it to and I don't know why I've tried all the angles but it's maybe just a cut it's a bit trial and error but once you get it done it really looks better than the version 2 in my opinion but for the version 1 you're going to do the same grip and also break off a fairly big packet this time you can even do the half or one third about that size and now only your ring finger curls in and your middle finger stays on top. And this time again you're going to slightly angle jog it like so and now the only thing that happens is your hand moves up like so to rotate the packet like this. So instead of doing it like this, this finger is on top on the packet and this finger is curled underneath and to execute the flip you really need to do this motion, let go of the packet and help a bit with this finger to get the rotation to 360 degrees, like so. You need to bring a bit of momentum in there for the packet to rotate around the whole thing. And what I find helps is if you really apply a bit of pressure or you push with this finger and those are fairly far apart and also angle jog it. But I just can't get it done consistently for whatever reason. But once I get it done, it's really better than the version 2. I really can't give too much tips on this one because you just need to try your own grip, see what happens, but really just it's the Erdnays grip and then try to experiment with some grips and try to rotate it around your thumb. At least that's what they tell you in the DVD, but I find that this always results in sliding off one card. But yeah, it's just trial and error at this part. And if you can't practice it without dropping cards, you can also stand in front of your bed or something and just do it over and over and experiment with the grips to get it done. Or just do the version 2, whatever you want. Because also most of the time the packet ro won't rotate like so. Often it does kind of this motion but also it rotates like this and I find this looks kind of messy and I also can't get it consistent like this. So I'll just do the version 2 most of the time. But yeah, just going to the Erdnis grip, split off one packet, put this finger over there and this one over there. Curl this in and move your hand up like this and apply a bit of pressure with this one and while you're doing this motion extend this finger and rotate the packet around like so. Also don't forget it to angle jog it a slightly bit.
like so yeah and that's basically it